purpose of this video is to write uh, expressions for forces exerted by an ideal spring for the potential energy of a stretched or compressed spring. This corresponds to your AP Physics B objectives at the College Board. So, um, what this really means is being able to quantify uh, elastic potential energy and also Hooke's Law of the force of a spring. So, let's read the question. Step one. The, there's a 62 kilogram bungee jumper that jumps from a bridge. She is tied to a bungee cord whose unstretched length is 12 meters and falls a total of 31 meters. Calculate the spring constant K. So what's happening is somebody's falling. What's being asked is to solve for spring constant K. Let's draw a picture of what's happening. You've got a bungee jumper. And they're going from some bungee cord. And eventually, sometime later, that is stretched to its max. Oops. Same. And they went at a total distance of 31 meters, they fell a total distance of 31 meters. So actually, I should have the person in the original picture um, standing up here. So they stood up here, they fell. This would represent the uh, unstretched length of 12 meters, and this would represent the entire drop of uh, 31 meters. And where they're standing here at the very beginning, that represents time equals zero. And then they jump down uh, 31 meters. OK, so step one, we read the problem thoroughly. Step two, we drew a picture. Now let's go to the law. The law of conservation of energy says the amount of energy you have at the beginning of something, uh, some time period, is going to be equal to the amount of energy you have at the end of that time period. So at the beginning, when we were up here, what type of energies did we have? We didn't have any kinetic energy. We didn't even have our uh, bungee cord stretched yet. All we had at the very beginning was gravitational potential energy. Let's say it's gravitational potential energy initial. Now, we don't have any other forms of energy, so I will just go to the end. Um, and in the end, we um, there was a time that we did have kinetic energy, but if you go all the way to the the end um, where the bungee cord is stretched to the max, they'll bounce back so they won't have any more kinetic energy. So even though we had some kinetic energy in there, we won't have kinetic energy in the end. We will have only elastic potential energy. I know your textbook likes to use the word U or the letter U to symbolize potential. I like to use these abbreviations because it's, I don't know, it's a little more specific for me that way. Um, so now that we've identified the forms of energy, let's apply the formulas. We know that MGH initial is going to equal the formula for elastic potential energy is 1 half kx squared. Well, we have a 62 kilogram um, jumper. But you know what? They, at this point, you're solving. You're solving for k, that was the question. So algebraically, let's get k by itself, then we can worry about numbers later. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, and then I have 2 mg h initial equals k x squared. Now I'm going to divide by x squared, and I get k is equal to 2, 2 mg h initial divided by x squared. So now you can start plugging in those numbers. So uh, we've got two 62 kilograms. Gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared accelerated. And the height initial was 31 meters. We will call the very bottom, we'll call this point um, y equals 0. So there's going to be no more potential to fall at that point. So 31 meters. 
to all of that is going to be divided by the amount that the bungee cord stretched isn't 31 meters, but it's stretched from here to there. So if it was, um, if it went a total of 31, but its unstretched length um, was this number 12 right here, then we, we've we got um, 19 left over to get to the 31. So that's 19 meters that the elastic uh, band stretch. So we're going to have to put that 19 meters down here. So we do the math. We find K to be uh, 104 points. the video if you have to and then play it when you're ready um, 